GeForce GTX 1660 T Big Test, 7 video card models, 7 processors, 42 games. This material is a generalization test 17 graphics cards based on the GeForce GTX 1660 T from different manufacturers. The following video cards have been tested, Asus ROG Strix GTX 1660 T, Evga GTX 1660 T XC Black, Evga GTX 1660 T XC Ultra, MSI GTX 1660 T Gaming X, MSI GTX 1660 T Vintage XS, Palette RTX 1660 T Stormx, PNY GTX 1660 T XLR8. The tests were run on different platforms and in different games. Testers indicated that always exhibited maximum settings in games, though sometimes results vary considerably. For statistics were selected only result in resolving 2560H1440 as the most optimal. It is for this permission chip GTX T1660 is most suitable. Beside each video specified processors and memory, which are used for testing. This table contains all the video cards parties. Each video contains the price, the maximum core temperature and the maximum stable core speed under load. By how many configurations have been tested in every game we can judge how popular a game at the moment among the testers and bloggers. Many games have been tested only once, and some all. The Apex Legends wanted to test all three of them. Result 81-89 frames. In Assassin's Creed, Origins wanted to test just one. Result 54 frame. In Battlefield 1 to DirectX 12 was only 3 tests, the 5th generation processor demonstrated failing 68 frames, and the rest of 86 frames. Battlefield V variation of 62 to 82 frames. But most of the values are within the 67-70 frames. Where there is more likely to have reduced the quality of graphics. Call of Duty, Wii is not popular, only one test showed 62 frames. Civilization Vi, too few people are interested in. One test showed 72 frames. Destiny 2 shows results from 77 to 79 frames, but in one test turned abnormally low value of 67 frames. Deus Ex, Man King Divided showed variation in frames 4357. The laggards were System 7960X processor, running into drains. Doom Vulcan 129-134 showed high frame. The only test showed LX low 46 shots. F1 race in 2018 show the result in 6476 frames. A surge of 105 frames can be explained probably reduced graphics settings. Far Cry 5 shows high frame 6372. Far Cry New Dawn DX11 shows 6875 frames. Final Fantasy 15 tests showed only 50 frames. Only he did not because the game is not popular, but because the in-game benchmark shows the results in parrots, and that they all impose. Only one tester measured the average frame rate. Fortnite show 85-89 frames. The only measured in the Forza Motorsport 7 shows the frame 91. Forza Horizon 4 shows the result of 70-83 frames. Gears of War 4 outputs 58-66 frames. In Ghost Recon, Wildlands has a large range of values from 35 to 60. Most likely the true values are low, and where the highest were reduced settings. The Grand Theft Auto V normal values in conjunction with the 8 core processor are 90 to 95 frames. Quad clocked 7700K showed frame 62, and stock core 8086K6 showed lower frame 47. Hellblade, Sinuous Sacrifice already very few people are interested in, and the only measurements showed acceptable 56 frames. Hitman DX12 shows a stable result in frames 78-79. Hitman 2 was tested only once see a good result in the 71 frame. Next come 3 games with a single metering. Jurassic World, 50 frames, Just Cause 4 to 54 frames, Kingdom Come, Deliverance, Unplayable 37 frames. Metro Exodus is considerable variation, but clearly noticeable to the average value of 34-35 frames. There is a failure of up to 27 frames, and a strange growth of up to 48 frames or reduced settings or Metro Exodus loves 8 core processors. About old Metro, Last Light Redux remembered one tester, and it turned out great 75 frames. Middle Earth, Shadow of War outputs from 54 to 62 frames. One result in extremely low frame 44 can be associated with larger memory latency. In Monster Hunter World even though there are 3 measurements, but the difference between them is large. 39, 47 and 60 frames, then the truth is somewhere in the middle. 
the stable high overwatch 9105 frames. In Rainbow Six, Siege spread is very large, from 86 to 143 frames. Probably used a completely different cards for the test, but even at the lowest values of a great result. New Resident Evil 2 for some reason is not popular, the only measurement showed 69 frames. But the Shadow of the Tomb Raider obviously everybody likes. The game has been tested on 15 configurations. The result of 50 to 62 frames. Stand with a PNY card acting up again, giving an extremely low 42 frames. One Frozen in Star Wars, Battlefront 2 showed 71 frame. In Strange Brigade turned high frame 68 72. In The Division 50 60 frames. The Witch are the average result of 3 frames 62 65. Abnormal jump in 74 frames is probably caused by a simple choice of location for the test. In Watch Dogs 2 only one measurement, 55 frames. Wolfenstein 2 gave high frame 72 82. Only one test in World of Tanks Comfortable showed 70 frames. And in a single test, World of Warcraft has been received 81 frames. What is the result? To play in resolving 2560 H 1440 uniquely suited either the GTX 1660 T. Only in Metro Exodus will have to reduce image quality or resolution to overcome the 60 frames.